I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one piece I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the king bomb tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. That was amazing. Thank you very much. I can't hear you. There's music playing. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to announce the glorious winner of this year's Christmas Tree Contest, featuring the ever-lovable King Balm. If you're not familiar with the contest, essentially I asked my viewers to decorate this image of King Balm as best they could using the medium of their choice. And well, the results speak for themselves. Before we announce the winner though, I would like to take some time to highlight some of the best entries I received, starting with Menno Grafmans. Here we have a very festive King Balm clad in his winter wear with what looks to be a beard that extends far, far above the regular realm of facial hair and a nice smiley face decoration because every tree needs a tree topper. Next up we have Sam from the Netherlands who has not only brilliantly decorated Sir Balm, but he's even gone to the trouble of giving him a tree tan, which I think was a really good move, especially adding that nice vibrant green. It really makes the decorations pop. Oh, and one last thing I'd like to point out is that Lady Tree is here, also decked out in full Christmas attire so it's a nice family affair. Brilliant work Sam. But now it's time to view the submission of Bruno Ruru, who has painted a wonderful chrismatic atmosphere with snow on a nice winter evening. But I have to say that by far my favorite part of this entry is the fact that Bruno Ruru has used Papug as the tree topper star and he looks bloody fantastic up there. However, Bruno Ruru is not the only one who managed to capitalize on the greatness that is Papug, as Squid also adorned his king balm with the Jamaican starfish set against the lovely backdrop of Drum Island. And also don't think that I didn't notice this Grinch in the bottom left hand corner, sneaky. Sneaky Squid. Stepping into the mind of Dat1 Anime Boy, we see a transformed King Balm who has given up on life as a tree in order to pursue a career as a candy cane. And you know what? I'm sure that Big Mom would not be complaining at all. And keeping the theme of Big Mom in mind, this entry from Arok is absolutely beautiful because it is adorned with Christmas themed homies, living presents, and baubles galore. Plus, there's a really cool little detail here where King Balm is getting into the spirit of everything by licking a delicious lollipop. Or perhaps not so delicious given the, uh, the look on his face. And as a lover of lighting, I'd also like to take a second to appreciate the nice directional glow that Arok has given King Balm from that beautiful yellow moon. Now for something completely different, we have a hand-drawn King Balm from Jackie Inick, which is 100% fantastic. The texture of the tinsel is amazing and I just can't help but love the expression of joy and or satisfaction on King Balm's face as he is truly embracing the spirit of Christmas. Merry Christmas and happy holidays indeed, Jew. But not everyone's King Balm ended up being so cooperative as this entry from Chloe epitomizes what I suspect King Balm's real reaction to this contest would be. Regardless, King Balm, I'm afraid you are indeed a Christmas tree and you're going to need to learn to deal with it. Next up, we have Infamous Cat, evoking a style of Christmas that I am very familiar with. For those of you who don't live in the Southern Hemisphere, Christmas here is hot. Very, very hot. And so Christmas Day for us usually entails heading down to the beach or lying by the pool of whichever unlucky family member happens to own one. Now on a very rustic note, we have this entry from Kirk Bay and his his mysteriously unnamed wife. And this is just lovely. The handcrafted elements really lift this and give it a whole ton of depth. The straw hat is also a really cool touch that I think suits King Balm surprisingly well. Plus that drawing of the Thousand Sunny in the background is just so damn adorable. Fantastic teamwork, guys. In stark contrast, we now have Android 16, who has submitted the bare minimum amount of work to technically be considered an entry. I would like to make a special mention that the tree itself isn't even decorated, which only goes towards enhancing the uh, minimalist vision of the entry. So thank you very much, Android 16, for, uh, let's say, showing up. But moving into the insanity that is Tyler the Big Boy, we actually have a surprisingly fantastic entry here. I'm loving Tyler's general style with the very prominent thick lines happening, and I do need to point out that instead of Christmas decorations, King Balm is adorned with the profile pictures of a lot of the Grand Line Review Discord server members, which is ever so cool. There also appears to be what I suspect are a uh, pair of upside-down testicles, which is... Let's be real, that's exactly what I expected of you, Tyler. Thank you for your entry. But now it's time to get serious. We have a mere three entries left to examine. So ladies and gentlemen, these are my personal top three favorite King Balm Christmas trees. In third place, we have 
Andre Bento. This rendering of King Balm Santa is everything anyone could ever want from Christmas. The beard, the hat, the presents. Every added element is just so nice and schmick. Plus, I really enjoy that his tree leaves match the beard. It's just such a strong color scheme, red, white, and purple. Very cohesive and very beautiful work in general. Also, just a special note, this happens to be my wife's personal favorite entry. So in addition to third place, you've also won the Grand Line Waifu Appreciation Award. Congrats, Andre. Yay! But moving into second place, we have Traveler 281. Now at first glance, you may not see what is so absolutely incredible about this entry, so I'd like to draw your attention to the various silhouettes adorning King Balm. These are the straw hats who have been hand cut and pasted onto a printed image of King Balm, depicting a scene of them decorating him for Christmas. And the detail of this handcraft is a whole new level of crazy. Whenever I take a closer look, I notice something that I hadn't seen before, like the fact that Frankie's construction platform is running a line of decorative rope all around Balm, or Luffy trying to decorate his nose with meat. It's just... So cool. So thank you kindly for your effort, Traveler281. I can't put into words just how much I appreciate this. And now we are left with our final entry. The winner of the 2018 Grand Line Review Christmas Tree Contest is Square Tuna. This entry is an overload of joy, like a shot of liquid Christmas injected straight into my veins, because this isn't just a wonderfully decorated King Balm, it's Christmas time on Whole Cake Island. And this image of Katakuri Santa, for better or worse, will never ever leave my mind. Plus all the homies are getting into the spirit of things, and there's even a tiny little Amon down there dressed as an elf. Plus King Balm appears to be decorated in some sort of delicious frosting, making Big Mom go absolutely wild. Also I really enjoy Big Mom's Christmas dress with the bells and the holly and the, the everything just the pure everything about this image is amazing so congratulations square tuna you have won this year's christmas tree contest as well as the power of a buster call which i will be in contact with you on how to use but that pretty much does it for the 2018 grand line review christmas tree contest if you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general then please do consider donating to the grand line review patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible also i've recently launched a teespring store if you're interested in shirts hoodies and other miscellaneous items with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. This has been the Grand Line Review, and Merry Christmas.